Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Spirits. And they all 
Word to you. The Word of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has done my, been my Savior. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Thanks to the Lord. He is good. His love is everlasting. A book, a reading from the book of Revelation. John, your brother, can share with you the distress the kingdom and the endurance of heaven of Jesus, found myself on the island called Patmos, because I proclaimed God's word and gave testimony to Jesus. I was caught up in spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a voice as loud as a trumpet, which said, Write on the scroll what you see. Then I turned to see whose voice it was that spoke to me. And when I turned, I saw seven gold lampstands. And in the midst of the lampstand, one, one like a son of man, wearing an ankle robe with a gold sash around his chest. When I caught sight of him, I fell down on his feet as though dead. He touched me with his right hand and said, do not be afraid. I am the first and the last, the one who lives. Once I was dead, but now I am alive forever and ever. I hold the keys to death and the never will. Write down, therefore, what you have seen, and what is happening, and what will happen afterwards. The word of the Lord. Peace 
be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus is happy for you guys that you're going to receive it 
and come closer to Him. And uh, speak, not just speaking to them, but to all of us here. You know, today is the divine mercy of our Lord. And, uh, it's, it, and uh, as I was reading the collect of the beginning prayer, it was really beautiful. There was like three lines. I don't remember the first two. But the last one was like, remember, let us remember like, but by Jesus' blood, we have been redeemed. Now that's, that's the story of our faith. It's by the blood of Jesus that we have been redeemed. It's by His merciful love that we have been redeemed. The truth is, God didn't have to do it. He wanted to do it. He came down to freely save us. And uh, today is one of my favorite feasts of all this, the year. Uh, something about the, the picture of Jesus' divine mercy. It was up here, but it's, uh, they took it away. Um, but something about that picture is so uh, beautiful, so intimate with our Lord. And in the picture you see uh, red and white coming out. You know, rays of red and white. Those symbolize Jesus' blood and Jesus' grace. And it's all about Jesus' mercy for us. And the reason that He wanted this be celebrated is because He wants everyone to come to His mercy. He wants everyone to know His love, especially in the sacrament of confession, but in the sacrament of the Eucharist as well. Because it's in the sacrament of the Eucharist that we become alive. There's a saying in theology, in, uh, in the teaching of the Church, it says, the Eucharist makes the Church. It's the Mass and it's Jesus truly present that combines us together. It's Jesus in the Eucharist that heals us of our sins and all the hurts in our life. You know, uh, I cannot recommend enough spending time with Jesus in the Eucharist. You know, we have a 24-7 adoration chapel where people adore Jesus night and day, and He waits for us there. You know, spend time with Him. If you don't go to communion because you are not disposed, come to the sacrament of confession. You know, our Lord died, is like dying for you to receive Him when you're ready, of course. You know, think about that. Jesus is dying for you to receive Him. On the cross, Jesus said, I thirst. He's thirsting for your heart. That's what He meant when He thirsts. And so, the, the, the speech of divine mercy is about Jesus' thirst for us. And the mercy He wants to give us in our lives. And, uh, you know, I, I, it's just really nice that they're celebrating this First Holy Communion because it's just a beautiful sign of Jesus' mercy and love. You know, our Lord becomes small for us. You know, who could imagine that? The God of power, the God of the universe, transforms bread into Himself so that we can receive Him. There is no greater sign of Jesus' mercy than that. He does it so, but so much that people throughout the centuries have abused Him in the Eucharist. But He still gave the gift of the Eucharist because of how much He loved us. That's the greatest sign of Jesus' mercy, is the Eucharist. And so, um, parents and godparents and whoever's here, always see the sign of the Eucharist of God's mercy. And you kids always see it as a sign of His mercy, which means His love. Remember, it's His love that He wants for you guys to receive Him. He loves you guys so much. So if you ever in life forget um, you know, about Jesus, or remember His love. Remember He loves you. And that's what He calls you to, is Himself in the Eucharist. And so I just uh, want to end this homily by saying, you guys will be with me in my prayers, and uh, may God, our Lord Jesus, bless you abundantly this day, and, and your whole families. Um, may Jesus' mercy be in our hearts, and may we come to see how much He cares about us, because He does. Our Lord just wants to help us and help heal us of the wounds of sin and our own sins in this life. Um, sin is what hurts us and what causes destruction, what causes loneliness, what causes bitterness, what causes resentment, anger, all these awful things. Jesus wants to take it from all of us. Always remember that this is what it means, uh, the divine mercy of Jesus, is He wants to free us and heal us.
Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things invisible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of substantial of the Father. Through him all things was made, for us sin and for our salvation, he came down from the earth. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the punch of Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living of the dead, and has seen them will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord of the gift of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess the baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. The life of the world to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, filled with pastoral joy, let us pray or earnestly to God that He who graciously listened to the prayers and supplications of His beloved Son may now be pleased to look upon us in our loneliness. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely. A flock entrusted to them by the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. From the whole world, that it may truly know the peace given by Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their sorrow may be turned to gladness, which no one can take from them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our own community, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the intentions of this Mass, for the repose of the souls of Nestra Mijo, every Trujillo, and the Ortiz family, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear for the repose of the souls of Steve Roy Paul, Charlie and Josephine Archuleta, Marie and Sol Solomon Roy Paul, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the repose of the souls of Bobby Castillo, Jose Archuleta, and Juan and Rosina Archuleta, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. O God, who know that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need, hear the desires of those who cry to you and receive the prayers of those who believe in you, through Christ our Lord. Thank you. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, have a number in these days. Only say the word, my soul shall be
so girls are white and boys are blue. Or black. Thank you. 